All right, my first slightly successful attempt at catching the uh, Helix Nebula in Aquarius in real time. If you look carefully, you can just barely make out a smoke ring of sorts in the center of the field. I'll move it around a little bit here. There it is. The smoke ring is a little above center. It's kind of right at center there and a little bit below center. But let's get it back to center. So you see that smoke ring? That's the Helix Nebula, an exploded star from long ago. Just barely showing up against the sky background. No filter here. Got it through Gen 3 night vision. In fact, we're using a Startron LR300 lens, which is a 300mm f1.4 lens with catadioptric, and then a 25mm image intensifier tube with a glass fiber input window and uh, camera to Sony a7s running at 1 60th of a second shutter ISO is 500 and I've got myself a little bit of whoop, the helix just barely boy that is hard to make out it's also hard to hold in the center this is a fork mount configuration manual fork mount that's what the large lens is uh, coupled to but you definitely can make it out, at least on my little 7-inch monitor, I can see it. Oops. That's the Helix Nebula. Tried this earlier with a hydrogen alpha filter on the front end of the um, intensifier, just in front of the uh, input window, and it was really hard to make out. Tried some stills, and those were even kind of crummy, but I think it almost looks better without the filter. So... Oh. From Mount Pinos, California, at 3 plus o'clock in the morning, we have the Helix Nebula. Yeah, at least a little bit of it, the ghost of it, in real time. Okay, that's going to be that. Uh, although, no, not yet. Let's try dialing down the intensifier gain. Is it any easier to see? Probably not. Oops, turned it off. Why oh, now it's not. What happened? Oh, that's interesting. Hey, I never noticed that before. This tube takes a while to warm up. Look at that. Okay, end of video. Hmm, curious effect.